friends and welcome to the pre-market update. Uh, yesterday we had seen uh, in the global markets a late rebound in energy shares uh, after the recovery in oil uh, in the late session has helped US stocks uh, end the choppy session a tad higher on Thursday uh, ahead of the all important jobs report data which is to be announced in US today. Uh, Asian stocks are also tra trading uh, a little bit on the higher side after dollar rose to one, one and a half months high uh, versus the yen. Uh, and ahead of the non-farm payrolls data which is uh, to be reported uh, in the later half of the day. Uh, uh, coming over to the Indian markets, if we see yesterday uh, after trading in a range all through the Thursday session, the benchmark indices uh, eventually settled higher uh, ahead of the exit poll results of the state elections. Uh, yesterday the exit polls are again suggesting that uh, uh, BJP would be the likely gainer uh, in the major states uh, that is the UP. Uh, it is likely to have uh, close to 180, 190 seats. Uh, so that is also a, a bit of a positive for the markets yesterday. Uh, over to Uttarakhand and Goa also they are uh, expected to gain some uh, seats uh, whereas major losers uh, in that uh, would be the Punjab, segment, Punjab state uh, where they are likely to go down. Uh, so uh, it is all reflected uh, in the markets uh, if we see SGX Nifty is currently quoting around 20, 21 points higher and closer to the 9000 zone uh, that is it is trading at 8975 if we see so 9000 could be a likely tester for uh, the day. Uh, over to the FIS data if we see FIS were uh, buyers in the Indian markets to the tune of 488 crores yesterday whereas domestic institutions were also buyers in the Indian markets to the tune of uh, 11 odd crores. Now let's have a derivative check on the market. Good morning friends, welcome to Derivatives Morning View. Negative news from the international markets didn't help our markets too. Markets opened gap down and started trading sideways. Uh, markets saw a lot of uh, sideways movements during the day uh, after opening European markets market were also negative. During the late session of the day, uh, markets started rising thanks to sectors like banking and other stocks which start participated in the rally. The Nifty closed the day towards flattish at uh, 8954 levels, up by just 0.03%. Nifty cost of carry was at 5.35%, was also flattish. Uh, put call ratio was down 5 basis points at 0.90. India VIX was uh, up by around 2% at 14.44. Nifty added 15.64 lakhs shares of open interest, indicating long uh, built up in Nifty futures. On the option activity front, we saw massive addition in 9000 call options by around 25%. 9100 call options saw massive addition of around 17%, and 9200 call options also saw massive addition of around 33%. On the put activity front, 8800 put option saw minor addition of around 1%, 8900 put options saw strong addition of around 10% and 8700 put options saw strong addition of around 12%. Overall we have seen that there has been strong uh, writing of calls in all the 9000, 9100 and 9200 call options whereas the put option uh, writing has been shifted from 8800 levels to 8700 levels. Markets are uh, looking sideways from here on. Securities in the ban period are Jet Airways, JP Associates and Arcom. On the FI activity front, index futures were net sellers by 617 crores. Index options were net sellers by around 1224 crores. Stock futures were sellers by around 525 crores. And stock options were net sellers by 21 crores. On the market level front, 5-day stands at 8955 levels. Higher range uh, remains at 9000 when there is highest in open interest and lower range remains at 8955 levels. SGX Nifty is indicating a positive opening by around 19 points at 8974 levels. That's it from the derivative desk. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Now let's uh, look at some of the trading ideas and news updates for the day. First trading idea is Jindal Steel and Power. The Delhi High Court has rules, uh, ruled against uh, Jindal Steel and Powers and it has lost all three coal mines. Uh, so this is a bit of a setback for Jindal Steel and Power. So action could be taken is a short Jindal steel uh, stop loss should be kept at 121 for a target of around 115 and 112. The next trading idea is uh, NBFC's uh, cash loan uh, has been restricted against gold uh, to 25,000 from earlier 1 lakh. So this is a bit of a negative sentiments build up for the NBFC companies. 
सो वन कुड से सी सम प्रेशर ऑन मन्नापुरम एज वेल एज सम अदर एनबीएफसीज सो एक्सिट कुड बी टेकन इज सेल मन्नापुरम करंट मार्केट प्राइस इज क्लोज टू 95 स्टॉप लॉस कुड बी केप्ट एट 97 फॉर अ टारगेट ऑफ अराउंड 90 एंड 88 इन मन्नापुरम फाइनेंस on the other news uh, we have iip numbers uh, today uh, which are to be announced after the market at around 5:30 pm uh, the it is for the month of jan and uh, expectations are of a uh, 0.4% positive around 10% of uh, reliance uh, shares were traded uh, in a block deal uh, in yesterday's uh, session francis uh, gdf uh, is likely to exit uh, its 10% stake in petronet the mines auction is likely to fetch around 1.5 lakh crores uh, uh, in uh, 1718 unikem lab has got a us fda for uh, lisatriptan uh, bezonate uh, tablets that is the oral tablets adani enterprise uh, positive news australian minister has backed adani's project uh, in australia so this is some of the uh, some positive news on the adani enterprises front Varun Beverages, uh, the news update. Uh, it is likely to divest 41% stake in Mozambique uh, unit, uh, but it will still hold around 10% in the unit. Delhi High Court has barred Sipla from uh, selling its uh, respiratory drugs. Uh, on the DMAT front, if we see every supermarkets that the DMAT IPO has oversubscribed around 5.7 times on its day two. Today is the last day of the IPO. India's petroleum consumption has declined uh, by around 2.8 percent YOY in Feb 2017 to 15.9 MMT. So this is some of a uh, few uh, setback uh, for some of the oil marketing companies as well. So we could see some pressure on the oil uh, marketing companies. RBI has opposed uh, the 1.17 billion uh, dollars settlement uh, pact between Tata and DoCoMo. So we could see some pressure on uh, Tata uh, Tele today. on the exit polls as i said uh, earlier also the exit polls are out and they signal that bjp is likely to emerge as a major victor from the round uh, the fresh round of state assembly elections uh, too not only do they call up which was the biggest state uh, in favor of bjp the exit polls are also projecting that the bjp is the winner in uttarakhand goa and manipur as well the only reversal is in punjab where it is uh, where the exit polls uh, project that the bjp and salai akali dal are looking at a route uh, the counting of votes in all five states uh, would uh, which have uh, gone to polls so would begin uh, on march 11th so we could likely see some uh, sort of a gap up gap down opening uh, on tuesday which is the next trading day available uh, after this uh, exit poll is, uh, or the polling uh, Results are announced. On the watch list front, if we see uh, stocks with positive bias, we have MRF, HDIL, and BEL. On the stocks with negative bias, we feel could be under pressure are Adani Ports, PFC, and Hinzing. On the advisory picks, which are the investment picks from the advisory desk, uh, from a one-year kind of a perspective, and are also displayed on ET now. Uh, we could we like Reliance Industries with upside potential of close to nine percent. We like Petronet LNG with a upside potential of close to 18 percent. We like CEC with a upside potential of close to 17 percent. We like Balrampur Chini with a upside potential of close to 15 percent, and we also like Kalpataru Power with a upside potential of close to 22 percent. So these are the investment ideas uh, which one could look at from a one-year kind of a perspective and should be recommended to the investors. That's it, friends, from all of us. Thanks, and have a nice trading session.